I'm trying to get to an original content in order to introduce the true person of authority and anonymous at the same time. That's a little bit of live gameplay. The game that I like the most is a symbol of power produced by the citizens and artists of Japan, as far as I know. This is Japanese animation in its highest form. The JRPG video game. Coming to you now, live, as a recorded on my system, the voice of Anonymous. My real name is Ken, and that is a fact. I am the son of Richard and a resident of the state of Missouri in the United States. I'm going to show you how I play a video game and learn from it. CPU, according to the game, is a console patron unit and not a central processing unit. Excuse me while I redirect my mic a little bit closer. Each reside in Celestia, a world separate from the land they oversee. CPU Blackheart and her land of black reality, regality, love station. CPU Whiteheart and her land of white serenity, Chloe. CPU Greenheart and her land of green pastures, Lean Box. CPU Purple Heart and her land of purple progress. Planetune. 
Here the CPUs fight endlessly and battle for rule over GAM industry. Which I might pronounce game industry. This battle is etched in history. This is the Council War. Let us begin with the story of the Council War. Purple Heart says, Huff, Huff. Black Heart says, You're all so stubborn. Why don't you all give up already? Ah, that is, that is uh, probably naturally spoken language right there at the proper speed. Purple Heart says, nonsense, we've been fighting for hundreds of years, why quit now? White Heart. That's my line. I won't let any of you take the title of true goddess. Ah, how much longer do we have to put up with this pointless fighting, says Greenheart. White Heart, White Heart, well what do you think then? Do us a favor and just die! Greenheart says, my, such raucous manners. <coughs> I have matters of destiny to fulfill, unlike you. Shut it. I can't stand the way you talk to all high and mighty thunder tips. Whiteheart, thank you for that line. Greenheart. Well, of course you know, breasts are symbolic of maturity and fertility, qualities of a goddess. Thank you for that line, Greenheart. With such logic, it can be said, you are the least fitting, says Greenheart. And if that is not a compliment. What do you think we, we, we should call that? Oh, Whiteheart's angry, very, very angry by that remark. The hell's that? All that crap talking out your butt, I'll kill you. Blackheart says, gotcha. gotcha. Greenheart says, what? Whiteheart says, damn it, that was close. And Blackheart says, ha, 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 ha. It's your fault for idly battling in the midst of a battle. Greenheart says, huh. Really, how much longer does this sterile battle have to continue? And someone, a voice unknown, says, well then, why not get rid of one of you? An unknown, unknown narrator to the story. Well then, why not get rid of one of you? Greenheart, true, that could be the catalyst of change we've been searching for. Greenheart is the kind and generous heart of green. True, that could be the catalyst of change we've been searching for. Blackheart, hmm, not a bad idea, dear sister. Purple, what? What are you all talking about? Whiteheart, 
So who's the sad one to be ousted here? Our uh, mystery narrator says, I suggest Purple Heart. Neptune. Our uh, Nep Nep, as we're going to come to call her later in the game. Greenheart. It would be difficult to get rid of her later, so I can agree to that. Yeah, I'm fine with that, says Whiteheart. Purple says, who are you three talking to? What was that mysterious voice? Where was it coming from? Uh... Blackheart says, ah, 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 ah. It settled then, so sorry. Purple Heart says, what? What are you all talking about? And now for the battle cinematic of a lifetime, the battle between the four goddesses of creation that can never be killed. Now, just for a moment, let me pause with the game and say that I have made certain statements to the authorities that I am the first human being to achieve immortal life and beat mortality in the history of the world. And I can never be killed due to the nature of my steel skin. That is one way of restating things that I have said to them in the past. And uh, if you want to put that theory to the test and see whether or not it's true, make me prove it, I think there's going to be some consequences to uh, asking me to prove me for my word and the belief in myself for who I am. I'm denying you the right to know my middle name right now. My father's name is Richard Allen Hopper, and my mother's name is Eleanor June Hartley Hopper. Some uh, unknown person, which appears to be this character right here, What's that? Let's continue the story a little bit further and see what happens. Ah. Welcome, U.S. children who can still enjoy a good video game. Our Japanese 
role-playing game animated sequence. Welcome to Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth. Episode 1. Guaranteed rebirth on planet Earth. And there were the credits for the vocals of the song that's being sung in Japanese. Neptunia is our hero. Rebirth one. Neptunia is our hero our heroine of the story. Otherwise known as Neptune. And she says, it's dark, like pitch black. Where am I? Oh, I get it. It must be a power outage or, or maybe the circuit breaker dropped. But why am I bright like I've never been splashed with fluorescent paint? I guess it's just my brilliance emanating from me. Hey, just kidding. Uh, hello? Is anyone here? I hope I don't step on your figures or anything. Neptune says, well, not that something like that would be on the ground, right? Neptune, but uh, who knows what I could step in uh, in the dark. It could be leftovers. Uh, do I just wait for more text boxes to pop up? This is way weird. Anyone out there? I'm going to start roaming, you know. Uh, anyone? Anyone out there? If you don't answer back, I'm going to start roaming, you know. I think I've made that perfectly clear to them by now. Yikes! Did I just step on something? Oh, soft and mushy. What is it? Hmm, Neptune? I'm thinking, but what am I thinking about if I'm not talking? Jeez, I'm bored. I am bored. Whose message am I waiting for anyway? Unknown speaker. Unknown speaker says, I apologize for delay. Have you been here long? Neptune says, hey, a voice. Who are you? Delay for what? Wait. Did my soul go to heaven? Unnamed speaker. Please calm down. Ah, the name of the speaker is Histoire. Histoire. Hmm, how do they pronounce Histoire, I wonder, since you just stated it. Maybe we could back up and find out how Histoire was pronounced in Japanese. 
I am Hiswar, a tome. You fell from Celestia, and now I seek a favor from you. What the hell is a speaking tome? Uh, tomb? Are you threatening me? With a tomb? Oh, no. Neptune? I knew it. I'm so dead. Wait, what do you mean fell to where? Hell? Ah. Uh. I should have finished my game backlog and erased everything on my HDD. And HDD usually stands for hard disk drive. What does it stand for in this game? Well, maybe it stands for hard disk drive. I'll let you find out by giving it a try yourself. Histoire. Histoire very calmly says, uh, Neptune, please take a deep breath and calm yourself. Neptune doesn't sound very calm. How can I calm myself when someone can look into my special HDD collections? Histoire, Neptune, have you not died? You have merely fallen unconscious, Ark. Neptune, you have not died. You have merely fallen unconscious. If I read the text as it is presented in the captioning. Huh? Really? I, uh, really? I'm still alive? What a relief. Um, this heavenly voice, how do you know me? Are you my fan? She's sounding a little bit happier now. This war is uh, not speaking intentionally. <coughs> Histoire says, I am Histoire. I record the history of GAM industry with the goddesses. I record the history of GAM industry with the goddesses. Neptune says, sure, don't answer me then. Histoire <laughs> says, I am sorry, but I was getting a bit tired of pointing out everything and leave something unsaid. Neptune, great, now I make others tired too. I must be a boring personality disorder. I don't have much time, so I will get to the point, says the swar. Please, Neptune, please, lend me your powers. Neptune, lend me your powers. And Neptune says, Huh? What did you say? There's a lot of noise on my side. She doesn't remember who she is or what her powers are. She's got amnesia. His war, please, please stop Artho uh, 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 and put uh, 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 N to the uh, 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 console war. Shut up with that alarm! I hate alarms. 
That dude says, oh shoot, did I break something? Oh, maybe it wasn't oh shoot that she says. And that dude says, wait, where am I? I've just awoken in the real world. And an unknown person, apparently this person right here says, oh, you're up. Good morning, sleepyhead. Well, actually, good afternoon. Neptune, uh, this isn't my room, is it? Is it yours? And why am I tucked snugly in? Unknown person says, at least we haven't been introduced to this character by name yet. Well, it was just last night I saw a shooting star. That was you. I saw a shooting star fall from the sky, and that was you. Neptune, that was a short answer. Wait, that means I fell from the sky? And I think I'll leave it right there and stop recording.